Before getting into the details of installing the command line form of Java, let me define a few terms. It seems that acronyms are a part of life when it comes to computing and Java is no exception. In fact, some of the acronyms can be confusing and can certainly cause you problems if you get them mixed up, especially during installation and setup. The acronym SDK stands for Software Development Kit and the acronym JDK stands for Java Development Kit. The two terms mean the same thing and are used interchangeably. Throughout Java, you'll find both terms used. The term SDK is the oldest, and the trend seems to be toward using JDK, but the transition is inconsistent, and both terms are used in both the new and old documentation. The SE stands for Standard Edition. The J stands for Java, and the J2 stands for Java 2. Now, these two terms are, in fact, used to stand for the SDK and the JDK. These acronyms are not used as often as the first two, but they do come into play during installation. When you want to download Java from the Sun website, you'll find it listed as the J2SE. The name Java 2 is a bit of an oddity. Java 2 is the generic term for any version of Java version 1.2 or later. All versions of Java up through 1.1 are just called Java, but all versions beginning with 1.2 are called Java 2. It is true that going from 1.1 to 1.2 was a major revision, but I think they could have done a better job of naming things. We've moved well beyond version 1.2 now, so you can just consider all versions of Java to be Java 2. The RE stands for Runtime Edition. The runtime edition is the collection of files that you need to be able to run Java programs. Now this collection does not include the compiler or anything else you'll need to write programs. It only contains what you need to run programs. The complete J2RE is included inside the J2SE, so you don't need to download them separately. The letters ME stand for Micro Edition. The J2ME is for writing embedded systems for such things as automobile engines and answering machines. We won't be using the J2ME in this course. The letters EE stand for Enterprise Edition. It's an add-on collection of classes that can be used to extend the capabilities of the Standard Edition. It does not contain the SDK. It is for use with the J2SE. We won't be using the J2EE in this course. That's not all. If you look around the Sun website, you'll discover a number of other sets of Java classes. For example, JAXP can be used to manipulate XML documents. JAIN can be used in conjunction with the J2SE to develop telecommunication software. And the JMI is the Java Metadata Interface. All you need for everything in this course is inside the J2SE. And the next lesson is about downloading that and getting it ready to develop software.